Dear friends, today's gospel reading feels like a hug from Jesus, a hug especially for all who feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. On the night of October 11, 1962, a large crowd of mostly young people, many carrying torches, made their way to St. Peter's Square, Rome, to celebrate the opening of the Second Vatican Council. Excited and gripped by an air of expectancy, they hoped to hear a few words from the Pope. Tired after a demanding day, Pope John XXIII was reluctant to speak once again. However, when he saw so many people were gathered in the square, the good Pope asked for his toll and made his now famous moonlight speech. After some words of encouragement, Pope said, when you go home, give your children a hug and say, this is a hug from the Pope. Dear friends, today's gospel reading feels like a hug from Jesus, a hug especially for all who feel the weight of the world on their shoulders. The reading contains some of the most consoling words in the Bible. Come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble of heart, and you will find rest for your soul. Matthew 11, 29-30 This is surely an invitation we cannot refuse. In this invitation, Jesus uses the image of a yoke, an image familiar to the farmers of his time, though perhaps not so familiar to most people today. This was a carved wooden beam placed over the neck of two animals, usually oxen, to enable them to pull a cart or a plow. In the Bible, the yoke was often used as a symbol of the bondage and oppression from which God had delivered the enslaved people of Israel. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt that you should not be their slaves. I have broken the bars of your yoke and made you walk upright. Leviticus 26.13 Dear friends, at the time of Jesus, the Torah or law of Moses originally intended to help the Israelites to walk in the way of the Lord as a free people had become another yoke, another form of oppression. This was because the religious leaders of his time had added a whole plethora of man-made rules and regulations, 613 of them, to the Ten Commandments God gave to Moses thus placing an insupportable burden on the shoulders of the ordinary simple people. Growing up in Nazareth, Jesus lived and worked among ordinary people. He had first-hand experience of their struggles and frustrations. He felt for them and reached out to them with compassion and healing their sickness showed kindness, dispensing God's mercy, casting out demons and giving them hope. He excoriated the scribes and Pharisees for crushing people with impossible demands without ever lifting a finger to ease the burden. Matthew 23 verse 4 Jesus wanted to free the people from unnecessary burdens. So he invited them to surrender to his loving embrace and accept his gentle yoke. 
and he promised them that if they gave themselves to him they would find peace and solace for their weary hearts dear friends jesus is making the same invitation and the same promise to us today he is not telling us that following him is always going to be easy to embrace the yoke of jesus means choosing to live by the values and standards of the gospel not those of the world around us and this involves resisting the permissive spirit of the age that invites us to cast aside all restraints and create our own values in such circumstances embracing the yoke of jesus may prove demanding but we are not left to our own resources jesus is always with us we are yoked to him and as our gospel reading reminds us he is gentle and humble of heart let us pray dear friends that the mighty lord help us to carry out our own yokes and follow him by denying ourselves and surrendering our will to him i wish you all a happy grace filled season of advent amen